Hi, I'm Mary Helen Bowers, founder of Ballet Beautiful, and I'm excited to talk to you today about bar work for Ballet Beautiful and what your proper placement and positioning should be. So, for a lot of our Ballet Beautiful exercises where we're standing in the center of the room, if you need extra stability, you're always welcome to take one hand and put it on a bar, on the windowsill, a wall, a chair, whatever you have handy. And then we also have a whole series of exercises that I'm performing at the bar. And so if you're following along at home, same thing, find a surface that's steady, that's the right height for you, that's gonna give you that extra stability and function as a bar, even if it's not a proper ballerina bar. So, a few things to keep in mind. One, when you're working at the bar, it's very important to make sure that the shoulder is down. So you don't wanna grip and lift through the shoulders in the back. You don't wanna be in this position. You always wanna be pushing down. Remember, keep that beautiful ballerina posture in mind. So long through the neck, engage through the stomach, and your hand is gonna be lightly holding onto the bar, whether it's one hand or two hands, whatever it is, you wanna imagine that you're pushing down and opening through the chest, but you're not putting a lot of pressure on the bar. So you could lift your fingertips at any time and hopefully be able to perform those exercises without even holding on, whatever you're doing. So that's very important. You don't wanna tense through the shoulders, you don't wanna lift, and you don't wanna push down with too much. You've got a nice, light grip. So really, even though you have the stability of the bar, your core is doing most of the work. So the next thing to think about is height. I'm on the tall side, I'm working off of a pretty tall bar here, and I'm working off of the top rung on this bar. You've got two heights. Obviously this low height would be way too small for me at this point. So this is nice, it's even with my shoulders. So when you extend your hand out, and I've got my elbows relaxed, it falls pretty naturally there. You wouldn't want the bar to be too high where you're lifting your shoulder or you're having to twist in any way. So it's important no matter what service you're working on that it's the right height for you. And again, that's basically if you bend your elbow and extend it out to the side, that bar, chair, wall, windowsill, kitchen counter, whatever it is, should be right at about that height for you. So you're not lifting, you're not reaching, and you're not sinking down to work on something that's too short as well. So again, you wanna stay relaxed, don't put too much pressure on the bar, and make sure that that bar is the right height for you. So I think those are really good pointers when you're thinking about your bar work, your Bally Beautiful exercises, from your home studio, gym, kitchen, wherever you are, um, to make the most out of every Bally Beautiful workout.